I recently just completed a three-month intelligence workshop course, and it was an amazing experience. I learned so much about myself. I learned so much about others. On one occasion, I had shared with the group this hurt and pain that I was carrying regarding my relationship, our lack of relationship with my dad. So my coach, Milton, encouraged me to write a letter in order for me to release that hurt and pain so I can walk boldly and confidently into my future. Let me tell you a little bit about my dad. My dad is an amazing man. When my parents divorced when I was roughly seven or eight years of age, my dad would come and get me every other weekend faithfully. My dad, he taught me so much about life. He taught me the importance of getting a good education. He said that if I wanted to go far in life, that it would be important to get my degree. It's because of my dad that I obtained my bachelor's from Wright State University, and then my master's from Central Michigan University. My dad, he taught me the importance of working out when we last spoke, he was still working out, playing racquetball three days a week, three days a week at the age of 72. My dad, he, he taught me how to fish. He taught me how to take that wax worm and put it on that hook and throw that, throw that line out to the water. My dad and I, we would, we would sit out there for hours just him and I. We would then go home and he would scale those bluegills, he would fillet them, and we would have them for dinner that night. Mm -hmm. Along with steamed broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and carrots. <laughs> there would be times when we would be riding in the car, he would just reach over and grab my kneecap and make me jump so high. As I got older, my dad began to share stories with me about his childhood, about how he wasn't a planned pregnancy, about how he grew up poor, so poor that in the dead of winter when he woke up, he could see his breath. He shared with me how at the age of 18, he was kicked out. Because of this, I saw his anger and frustration with life, feeling like he always got the short end of the stick. I saw how he closed people out, not thinking that he would eventually do that to me. But what I know about my dad is my dad loves me. I know that he would be so proud of all of my accomplishments. But what I also know is our relationship was so unpredictable. My dad, he missed many milestones in my adulthood. He never came to my track meets. He didn't come to my graduation. He didn't come to my wedding. There would be times when I called my dad and he didn't answer his phone. I would have to call again and again. When he did answer, he would be so cold and distant. I would call my dad and say, Dad, can I just take you out to lunch? Can I just come sit with you? My dad lives less than three minutes from me. My dad would say, no, not today, Monica. My stepdad, who I call dad, he would give me permission 
to let it go. But I felt that I couldn't. This is my dad. I tried again and again and again only to have the door shut in my face. This last time when I called and he didn't answer, I sent him a text. He didn't reply. I knew at that moment that it was time for me to let it go. I knew that I couldn't do it anymore. I got my pen and paper and I began to write that letter to my dad. letter that I won't mail off because I can't face being rejected one more time. I said, Dad, I hope you know how much I appreciate you. I'll never understand why our relationship was so unpredictable, so fickle. But know that I love you, and I always will. Love your baby girl, Monica. It takes a lot of bravery to share that kind of vulnerability. Yeah. Let's give Monica another huge <laughs>